Hi guys and welcome to my Easter knitting vlog. So as I mentioned on today's, uh, yesterday's episode, I'm going to be just sort of recording what I'm knitting and crafting over this long weekend period. I have a couple of days off as well. So yeah, I talked about all of that in the last episode and I thought I'd get a quick head start. I was off yesterday, but um, we took a trip and I recorded a podcast and I was all ready to, you know, get started, um, but today has not been ideal. <laughs> it's been, been a bit of a weird one. It's our wedding anniversary, but my son's not feeling too flush. I'm not sure what's going on, so it's been a bit of a disaster this morning. But we are about to head out to a birthday party, as he is seemingly fine. We don't know what's going on. Um, and I did knit a fair bit, so I thought I would show you my new cast on. So I desperately wanted to immediately start knitting with this hand spun, which I showed a couple of episodes ago. I am much better, I think, now at just working with my hand spun as I spin it as well. So this is a gradient spin. It's a three ply. I chain plied it. Um, and it's a merino, silk and camel blend, so it's really luxurious, I really love it, and it turned out really well. I got this fibre from Hilltop Cloud here in the UK, I think she's in Wales. And I paired this with this yarn, this is actually a leftover skein of Amble uh, by the Fibre Co. And I knit a sweater out of this. I got it in a sleeve stash a while ago and I had one skein left, which I was originally going to turn into socks. But here we are. It's a really lovely blend and I think these go really well together. And this just worked out perfectly because I bought the pattern for the Simon Shawl by Joanna Harriet, who I think goes by Twinset and Pearls, a couple of days ago, actually on my, on my commute back from London. And yeah. I was going to knit that and I was going to knit with my hand spun and then I put the two together and here we are. Isn't this beautiful? I don't know, I saw the pattern and it looks really, really nice when worn. Like it's a beautiful shawl, but it also just makes a nice sort of fabric rather than your typical knitted fabric. I don't know, I can't really describe it, but I think it's really beautiful. It's very simple. And I thought with a gradient, this would work out really well. So it'll, you know, obviously I started with the pink end and then it'll fade more and more into this like beigey, yeah, I would say it's a beigey brown. Um, so I think this will be a good, and, the, and the, the amble is a good neutral background to it. And I've really been enjoying it. It is a slip stitch pattern. You sort of need to keep looking at the pattern, the way it's constructed, um, but I am weighing my skeins because you start on one end and you basically did a crescent-shaped shawl sideways. So I know how much yarn I have. I theoretically have too little yarn, but I think we will be fine. Um, and once I have reached the halfway point on my either of my skeins, I'm just going to start decreasing again. And yeah, I love it. I love the fabric. I've never knit anything like this before. It's essentially like a garter stitch, slip stitch pattern. So it's very, very quick to knit. And I, I really like the fabric. The backside is like a typical slip stitch pattern, but I do really like this. I have been looking at the pattern a lot because either you look at the pattern or you really have to read your knitting. I am now at the point where I'm reading my pattern and my knitting more rather than just going row by row because then once you're off it's really hard to find your way back into it um, but it did take me a while to get into it just because you obviously have to increase in pattern but yeah as you can tell I started this last night and this is where we are so I have made quite a bit of progress and this is just beautifully soft um, like I said the pink is merino camel silk and I think the fiber co amble is wool alpaca and a recycled nylon and yeah, it's a really nice a combination. They call this a fingering weight, but it has more like a sport weight metrage. And my hand spun is sport weight as well, but it should be fine. I weighed um, my leftover yarn um, just now because I was getting a bit unsure how much longer I'm going to increase for. And I've only used about 14 grams per ball. So I think I can just follow the pattern, no problem. I don't think I'll be running out of yarn, but obviously I'll be managing that. 
And yeah, I just wanted to show that to you really, really briefly. And now I'm going to change because I'm still in my anchor sweater, which despite I depilled this last week and it's already looking like this again. So I'm gonna go change and then we're going to go have some lunch and go to a kid's birthday party. Fingers crossed it goes okay. And yeah, hopefully I'll have more knitting content for you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, it is now Easter Saturday, if that's a thing. I am feeling much better than yesterday. Yesterday was just a bit of a weird day. It's just been an off day. Um, yeah, I think lots of it having to do just with us looking forward to this break for a long time. We didn't really have any time off since Christmas. Obviously, we don't have any help whatsoever except for nursery with my son and it's just sort of, it gets quite exhausting. But yeah, we made it to the birthday yesterday in soft play, which was as you'd expect, I guess. I don't love soft play. I hate soft play. Um, but we did have a really nice meal before. I had probably the best uh, veggie burger I've ever had. It was really, really nice. And I took knitting and I knit a fair bit on these socks at soft play. So that was worth it. Um, I did notice earlier, so I knit most of the leg, or I finished the leg at soft play. And I think for the second sock, A, it is definitely more speckled than the first, which happens with indie dyed yarn. Um, but more importantly, this one I knit while I was quite relaxed, whereas this one I definitely sort of stress knit. Um, and it, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it definitely feels a bit tighter, even though the stitch count is the same, it's just my um, tension changing over time, which isn't great, but it's fine. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be a sock. And as you can tell earlier, we were in the garden and I have started knitting the heel. Um, my plan for today is to finish this heel and then I might allow myself another sock cast on because I feel like once I'm on the foot, this is going to be very simple, easy knitting. So yeah, plan for today, finish the heel for the sock and then possibly do a new cast on. I also desperately want to cake up my newest handspun today and possibly start a new spinning project because as you might know, I finished my most recent woolen gradient spun handspun. Um, if you don't know, this is Hedgehog Fibers, a really old club colorway called Sitting Pretty, which that was from years and years ago. But I mean, it's just a very typical sort of Hedgehog Fibers colorway. I like that this one has a slightly minty background. I think it's really pretty. And as I keep saying, this is my favorite sock base. I don't know why I never knit with it. I mean, it's a pricey yarn, but I got a fair amount of this yarn back when yarn prices were much cheaper. Still expensive at the time, but now it is a stash. Um, so I should knit the, um, knit up more of my Hedgehog Fibers um, because I do really, really like it, yet somehow I never work with it. Yeah, so that is my knitting progress for today. It's now midday. We went to a little Easter egg hunt event at a local park this morning, which has become a bit of a tradition for us. So that was really cute, the weather was nice, so the kids just sort of ran around and they had to find little pictures of chicks and answer questions and in the end my son got the most ginormous easter egg, so it was a good good activity for a pound. And yeah, we've just been hanging out in the garden, um, when I say hanging out, I have been knitting, I've been working on my sock, my son was um, playing rock delivery uh, man and playing with stones and rocks and my husband is still working in the garden so he's been hammering and doing all the loud things which is why I didn't really film anything but yeah we are getting somewhere with our garden um, we're having another round of massive chunks of rocks and uh, tiles and all of that picked up later today 
And I know some of you did want to see the garden. I'm still a little bit embarrassed to show it because we are not gardeners. Um, also, we don't have time to take care of stuff. So if you're really into gardening, you won't be impressed. But I think we are getting somewhere. And also, I am aware that we're going away for almost two weeks in April. So I don't want to start anything that will just die or require anyone to come look after it while we're gone. So most likely, I'm just going to buy some established plants when we get back and plant them as well and yeah be a lazy gardener which is fine so yeah um i think we've done all that we were planning to do today um the easter egg thing was definitely the main event for today and then we'll celebrate we don't really do much for easter we are not uh, religious but we are going to have the easter bunny bring some chocolate and possibly toys um tomorrow so hopefully for today, I'm just gonna relax a bit. Um, my son's been running around since like 6.20 this morning. Do some knitting, do some spinning, and I will check in with you guys later. All right, so as you can see, I have indeed turned my heel and I've decided to cast on some socks for Kai, my husband. And these are the two skeins of yarn that I showed him. Um, both are from Das Mondschaf, who is one of my favorite German indie dyers. I think both of these I actually may have gotten from my lovely friend Marion. Um, they're both Breaking Bad themed and both my husband and myself, we love Breaking Bad. So this one is Heisenberg and this one is I am the one who knocks. So they are both clearly Breaking Bad references and my husband chose this one. So I'm going to wind this up and most likely make some vanilla socks for him. They're very bright. They, I mean, they're yellow. They're coming across yellow, but it's definitely like a fluorescent yellow. But I think it'll be really, really fun socks. So I'm going to wind this up. And I think we're also going to order some Indian takeout, which is my absolute favorite. And yeah, the day is definitely going pretty well, I would say. Alright guys, it is now 5pm roughly on the Saturday and I thought I'd quickly round out this vlog and get it uploaded. So to show you briefly, I have started my husband's sock. Um, I am doing 68 stitches on a 2x25mm higher higher sharp needle. If it were me, I would add in this bright pink. This is just sitting on my husband's desk at the moment actually. This is the linen quill. Um, I'm not sure what colorway. Is it bright flamingo? They have a couple of bright pink ones. This is the most sort of obnoxiously pink. Um, I think this would be really fun to have a stripe of this in here, but I will check with my husband. I don't think he will want that. Anyways, I got these started and yeah, today has been pretty productive. Especially Kai has done a lot of work in the garden. Um, we spend so much time outside because it feels like the first proper day of spring is here today, which is lovely. Um, I also, for the first time since setting it up, um, had a little time to knit on our roof terrace, which we only recently furnished. And I de-stashed some yarn and sent that off, so that was quite good, just to get some a few little balls of yarn out of stash. Um, did some baking and now they're essentially just waiting for our food and I am exhausted again. I think it's just the early mornings at the moment and having a three-year-old who is quite strong-willed, let's say that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I am exhausted so I'm not sure if I can sleep in tomorrow because we have the Easter Bunny coming. But hopefully there will be some sleep at some point because I'm just feeling a little bit run down. So I'm going to sign off for now, we'll upload this onto YouTube and then I will upload a part two 
sometime over the next couple of days. Not sure if it's going to be part two or just uh, or part two and three. We'll just see how it goes. But here you go. I hope you enjoyed this little piece by piece update of my knitting Easter weekend, which honestly I thought it would feature more knitting than it has. But I am still hoping the knitting will come and hopefully some spinning as well. So we will see how that goes. Until then, I hope if you are celebrating, you're having a lovely Easter or just a lovely bank holiday weekend, spring weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!